Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we are making zucchini bread. Okay, so zucchini bread. So this recipe is for those of you out there that still have zucchinis in your garden. We are really getting to the end of the zucchini season here, even though in North Carolina it's still very hot but the zucchinis are just about tapped out. So we're gonna make this delicious zucchini bread for you today that is oil-free, gluten-free, and it's just pure delicious. So we're gonna get started. Uh, I have some rolled oats here. I have two and a half cups of rolled oats. That's what I always like to start with. So we're gonna blend those into a flour. I'm gonna put it here in my Nutribullet. I'm just using my smaller blender today because that's really all you'll need. So we're going to blend this into a flour first, which just takes a couple minutes. Okay, perfect. And we're going to put that in our bowl first, along with some of our other dry ingredients. So there's the oat flour, and we're going to have a teaspoon of baking powder. And this is aluminum-free baking powder. It's very important that you get the aluminum-free baking powder. And that's also the same with baking soda. So one teaspoon of baking soda. And the full recipe will be in the details below in a link and then one teaspoon of cinnamon. And this is really up to you. If you like a lot of cinnamon in your zucchini bread, go for a teaspoon and a half, maybe two teaspoons. That's strictly up to you. So we're just gonna mix that up a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna set that aside. And now we're gonna mix up Oops, our wet ingredients. So as you know, because this is a plant-based, refined sugar-free zucchini bread, we are gonna use dates for the sugar because dates are a whole food. All of that fiber is still in there. This is a cup and a half of dates. Then I have two thirds of a cup of soy milk, but you can use whatever plant milk you choose and then one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, and we're just gonna mix this up until it's really creamy. And we're gonna try to get as much of the dates pulverized as possible. But if there's still little chunks in there, it's okay. You're just gonna have little chewy bits of dates in there, which are still delicious. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share with you some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is a crowdfunded show, which means our content is made possible by the generous patronage of our paid membership community, who share our common goal to teach the world how to easily and permanently switch to a plant-based diet. My husband and I create these free weekly cooking shows to share all of the delicious recipes that we use every day in our own family kitchen. Our recipes are now used by hundreds of thousands of viewers every month from all over the world. Our paid memberships offer additional perks like access to our eBooks and in-depth courses, including our 28 days plant-based made easy course, where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. With meal plans, shopping guides, daily learning materials, and over 65 of our favorite recipes. If you love our content and find it's helping you to live your best plant-based life, please join us on our mission to share this life-changing message with the world and become a supporting member today by following the link in the description. It is the continued growth of our supporting member community that makes this show possible. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, that's perfect. Okay as much of that off there as we can. Okay, we're gonna bring our bowl over here. 
And I have my zucchini here. This is a cup and a half of zucchini. So the secret to this zucchini bread is that you need to get a lot of that moisture out. And typically people sprinkle salt on their zucchini and let it, you know, uh, it kind of leaches that moisture out of it, but we're not gonna use salt. So I just shredded my zucchini and I put it in just a regular uh, dish towel and I just wrung it out as much as the liquid as possible. So it's kind of, you know, it's pretty, there's still moisture in it, but it's pretty dry. Because if you leave that moisture in there, when you bake it, that middle is just not gonna get cooked through, especially because we're not using refined sugar, which is dry. We're using date paste, essentially. So there's another wet ingredient. So if you don't get all of that moisture out of that zucchini, you're gonna have a gooey centered zucchini bread. Okay, get all that out of there. And I have my oven already preheated to 350. So that's ready. So we're gonna need that again. Okay, and now we're just gonna mix it up. And it looks, you know, it looks like a dry uh, mixture. It's not gonna be, you're not gonna be able to pour this out of the bowl. But because when it bakes, more of that moisture comes out of that zucchini and you'll have a really nice moist zucchini bread. But it won't be gooey in the center. Okay, if you can see that, you wanna come, come in a little closer there and look at that. So that's how thick it is. Now we're just gonna pour it here. You can pour it into a bread pan that you've just lightly oiled or if you wanna line it with parchment paper or you can use one of these handy dandy little silicone baking, baking pans. I really like these little silicone ones. They're so easy to clean. You don't have to oil them. You don't have to put parchment paper in them. And when it comes out of the oven, they just pop right out so easy. Okay. Just gonna smoosh that down real good. Smooth out the top a little bit so it looks a little bit nicer. Okay, now let's get it into the oven. All right, there it is, guys. Oh, wow. Can't wait to eat this one. So I'm gonna get a plate and a knife and I'll meet you at the table. Okay, guys, our favorite part, the taste. Okay, let's, yeah, it's still nice and warm. Oh, look at that. That, that is perfect. And it's so spongy. Mm. Mmm. Spongy, just lightly sweet. Mmm. This would be so good toasted with a little bit of peanut butter or cashew butter on it. Yum. So be sure to give this a like, guys, and I'll see you next time.